All right, so I continued wet sanding this thing last night, like I said I was gonna do, but I also said I was gonna get it finished up. But the thing is, uh, last night I realized really quick as the sun went down and it got dark out here, working underneath these LED lights, you can't see anything quite as well as you can whenever the sun is up, man. So um, I got as far as that quarter panel. I did the entire roof. I did the trunk. I did this quarter panel. Um, and I was on this door whenever I just started getting a little bit uncomfortable as far as wet sanding, dude. Because I just I don't want to risk burning through an edge because I'm trying to get something done. And I can't see what the hell I'm doing, you know what I mean? So this door right here is not complete. I need to finish this door, this, both these doors, and that fender. And then the wet sanding will be done. And then we'll be able to finally move on to actually buffing this damn car out. There's another thing that I would really like to get into today. Um, if we have time, I don't know how long it's going to take to buff this thing. It really shouldn't take that long. <laughs> but we need to get this intercooler mounted up and i need to get the front bumper out here and check for fitment and see what has to be cut because if you guys don't remember i haven't sprayed the front bumper yet i want to wait until after we do any cutting that we potentially would need to do so that's on the list today first thing i gotta do is finish my damn homework that was supposed to get done last night <laughs> sanding is done i've gone through to 3000 grit on the entire car um the only thing that we have left is like the bump like the rear bumper and stuff and which i haven't put on the car yet because i don't want to i want to do the bumper separate i'm going to do it up on a horse because it's plastic i don't want to accidentally burn through it like i want to be able to actually focus on it as one piece and plus um whenever we're done actually buffing the car like there's going to be wax embedded in all the crevices and cracks and everything which absolutely drives me nuts but um we're going to pressure wash it afterwards to get all that stuff out and it's just a lot easier whenever you like don't have the bumper on and stuff so i have my high speed out and i have my cutting compound which is step one and then this is the finishing polish, which is step two. Exactly the same stuff that we used on Khaki and on Braven's Integra, man. So technical difficulty though. I went to go get all my buffing stuff out and I realized my pads were filthy from the last time I used them. Word of advice, man. Whenever you're done using them, wash them right away. You can just rinse them with hot water and then let them dry and then they're good. But I let it dry and harden, so now... Yeah, I got away from the wash. I should have checked this before I started sanding, bro. Those could have been washing and then drying the entire time I was working on that. But, oh well. It is what it is. I guess that means, for me, it's lunchtime. Alrighty then. One can of SpaghettiOs and a handful of Pizza Pockets later. Yes, I do live like a child. So what? Sue me. <laughs> Game on! as we did whenever we we're wet sanding i'm gonna focus on one body part at a time so i'm gonna start off with the hood um, once i get the hood done with the step one i'm gonna do the entire hood with step one and then i'm gonna move on to the fender with step one i'm gonna go around the entire car doing one body panel at a time with one step at a time and once i get the entire car done with step one then I'll come over and I'll switch out my pad and I'll start with step two. The reason why I do that, like I would do step one and step two on the hood and then step one and step two here. But you got to remember whenever you're buffing, you are going to overlap. You know what I'm saying? So while I'm buffing this fender, I am going to be overlapping onto the hood. So if I went ahead and did step one and two here, why would I want to be overlapping and hitting the hood with step one? You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I'm going to go ahead and go through the whole entire car with step one and then we'll come back and do step two once step one is finished so i don't know why i always get these out but i just went ahead and threw them in the wash while i was cleaning these things now to be straight up with you guys i haven't done this a whole lot man i've done this with my cars that's the only experience that i have with doing it so i've done it to khaki i've done it to the da i am just like probably a lot of you um i do my research on youtube and figure out how to do things and then i just go from that so this is kind of my process and these are the things that i have i have my high speed bumper um and i have these pads 
in which I I need to get I, I need to get new pads, <laughs> especially this black one, because this thing is beat up, bro. But anyhow, this is what I have to use. So we're gonna be starting off using uh, step one, and we're gonna be using this yellow foam pad. And I'm gonna go ahead. Well, first I'm gonna put it on the uh, buffer, and then I'm gonna spin it to get all the lint and dust off of it. <laughs> But now I am going to go ahead and pre-soak the pad, meaning I'm just going to put a bunch of this uh, product on here and just kind of get the pad all nice and wet with it. From my understanding, you don't want to use a dry pad because it'll create more heat and heat can be bad. You want to try to control how much heat you are putting into it because you can burn through your paint just as easy buffing it as you can with sanding it. So from some of the videos I've watched, this is called seasoning the pad. <laughs> I want to make sure to get around the edge really well because I will be using the edge of the buffer quite a bit. All right, our pad is seasoned. Let's go to the car. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put some of our step one on the hood. I'm not going to have it turned all the way down. I'm also not going to have it turned all the way up. So this buffer goes all the way up to six. So I'm going to put it around a three. So around half speed. And again, same as sanding. You want to be careful around all the edges and your body lines. You don't want to go real heavy on them. Because like I said, this will burn through your paint just as fast as sanding will. I'm going to put the cord up around my neck. So that it's not banging into the paint while we're buffing. Actually, I'm going to start off a little bit slower and kind of spread this around. Now that I got it kind of spread around and it's not necessarily slinging shit all over the place, it's kind of evenly spread. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my speed back up to around two and a half, three. I think I put enough product on here that I can go ahead and do the entire hood. So uh, remember, I don't have a lot of experience doing this stuff, man. I most certainly encourage you guys to do your own research whenever it comes to this kind of thing. I'm just showing, I'm sharing with you my process of how it is that I'm doing this. By all means, I'm sure that there's other ways of doing it and I may be doing something wrong here. Please do. I noticed in the last video when I was wet sanding, I had quite a few people like chime in and tell me like what it was I was doing right and gave some advice of what I could do to make things better. And I appreciate that man so most certainly if you guys know a little bit more about this kind of thing than what i obviously do i'm more you're more than welcome to leave some more advice down in the comments below not only for me but for other people who are watching the video who maybe need you know some tips or whatever yeah please do go ahead and throw them in the comment section down below because like i said i don't know everything whenever it comes to this i do know that my lens is freaking covered in wax already and i'm just starting <laughs> All right, grab some clean microfiber towels, and I'm going to go ahead and wipe this thing down now. Got to rip these tags off. Goodbye.
Bro, look at that freaking shine. This is only after stage one, dude. We still have a whole nother stage of polishing to go. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna wax it afterwards and then do a like a ceramic coating on it. Whew, good Lord, man. This thing is gonna be so damn sexy. But yeah, man, that's step one. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go over the hood one more time with step one. I might do that through the entire car. Like do each uh, body panel. Um, I might go over it once and then wipe it down and then go over it again just for good measure. Um, I wanna make sure because the cutting compound, you are still removing scratches, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, it's kind of like sanding, but now we are even beyond the 3000 grit, you know? Like you have, you have different cutting compounds that are more aggressive than others. Uh, this is kind of, I, I, to be honest with you, I don't know exactly if this is like a heavy compound. Look, removes 1200 and finer sand scratches. So, uh, yeah, this this is basically cutting the paint still in, in terms like, like you, what you would call sanding. But instead of using sandpaper, we're using compounds. So that's the idea here. And I can kind of see, like I'm not gonna be able to get this in the camera, but I can see little imperfections still, like from the wet sanding that I want to get out. Let me see if I can get it in the camera or not. Yeah, it, the camera's not gonna focus on it, dude. The camera just wants to focus on the reflection, which, look at that damn reflection, boy. Yeah, anyhow, long story short, I'm gonna basically go over the entire car twice, but doing a one body panel at a time, so, hell yeah, man, I'm gonna get into this. I'm gonna try to get through this as quick as I can so we can move on to step two and hopefully get this thing done before the sun goes down. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> the aftermath after you're done polishing an area man like you if you look at all the crevices everything is just completely jam-packed full of freaking compound right um i taped off this door handle uh consistency isn't really my thing but anyhow uh like all around here all this wax and everything now this will come out relatively easily right now once it dries it doesn't come out as easy from my experience bro like i've done this before i think it was braven's car that i was working on and then i kind of just i kept moving and i let this stuff dry and it didn't want to come out as easy as i had hoped that it did so before i move on because i've gotten that fender done i went over it twice and you can see how shiny it is and you see this isn't as shiny but i went over this twice as well but that's just because i haven't i haven't giving it a good old rub down you know what i'm saying as soon as you rub it down then you get that damn shine bro look at that and that is literally step one dude this is a cutting compound this isn't even the polishing compound yet so dude this is gonna be amazing whenever it's done i am so freaking stoked about this like i'm not gonna lie like i, I know i've painted quite a few cars and I've, I've done quite a few cars on the channel i never pictured doing a metallic paint job out of that spray booth you know what i'm saying i just i don't know man and this this car has really i want to say it has i mean so far <laughs> we're not done yet but i want to say it has really um helped my confidence level you know what i'm saying as far as my my own spraying abilities man because this thing really is it's coming out nice and to be honest with you this car I have had to, how would I word this? Overcome doing some things that I have been afraid to do. You know, you, you always kind of like doubt yourself over things and I believe me, like I do, I, I have lots of doubts and I think that's a, a big part of the reason why I don't really take on like customer cars, you know what I'm saying? As much as people look at khaki and they look at creamy and they say it came out amazing and it's beautiful and everything, I don't know, like it's so much different whenever you're working on something that is yours as versus working on somebody that, that something that belongs to somebody else, you know? Cause in my mind, I'm like, if I fuck up, you know, it's my car. <laughs> but I don't know, man, this this car, it's coming out really nice. And, and I guess what I'm saying is I'm kind of proud of myself so far. <laughs> it's not done yet, bro. Let's get it done before I get too terribly excited. But yeah, I can't wait till it's completely finished and assembled 
and we could actually roll this thing out into the sun and get a good look at it. I have yet to have even seen that. So anyhow, carrying on, I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, my, my whole point of what I was saying. <laughs> So I'm gonna rub, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe these doors down really quick. And then what I do is I use the pressure washer and I blast all of this wax and everything out of the crevices and out of the cracks before I move on. So this stuff doesn't have a chance to dry. Uh, we can go ahead and get it all blasted out now and then I'll move on to the corner panel. through stage one man i went ahead and i pressure washed the car all off and got all the stage one compound out of like all the cracks and everything so now we are basically ready to go man it's already got a really nice shine coming back to it but you already know it's gonna get even better with stage two um we're losing sunlight really fast it's already down behind the houses over there. So yeah, I give it another 20 minutes and it'll be dark out here, but I'm gonna continue trucking on this. I'm thinking I should be able to make it through buffing it with low light, hopefully. Again, if it gets if it gets so dark and I can't see what it is I'm doing, I'm probably gonna call it a night and I'll have to finish this tomorrow, unfortunately, but I'm gonna try, dude. All right, we are done with stage one and we are also done with the yellow pad. Now I'm gonna be putting on this black pad and moving on to stage two. This is our finishing polish. So this is what's gonna really bring some shine back out of that paint. All right, let's go. Next day. Guys, I was out here till like one o'clock in the morning, bro, last night doing the stage two, uh, getting this thing all buffed out and finished up. I got up this morning. Um, I just went over the entire car with this Meguiar's. It's a cleaner wax, but it's also like a sealer and it adds, it's a high gloss shine, seals and protects. It was just kind of like a finishing touch, you know what I'm saying? I actually bought this stuff 
uh, for the BMW. Just an off the shelf freaking wax from Walmart, you know what I mean? So I figured it'd be a nice final little touch uh, just to really get rid of all the streaks and everything from last night. I, I finished up last night and I went over the whole entire thing with the pressure washer. Like I opened up the hood, opened all the doors, got everything out of all the jams and stuff because one of the things that drives me nuts after a car gets cut and buffed is you can see all the wax and everything just embedded in all the cracks and all that stuff so um i made sure to get rid of absolutely every single bit of it <laughs> so yeah dude now there's nothing left to do but well i mean there's a lot left to do but there's nothing left to do in this video but to roll this damn thing out in the sun so we can finally get a good look at it Alright, well while I have the car out in the street, man, I need to pressure wash my driveway. I'm sure the neighbors have probably already called the city of Phoenix telling them that I'm running a detailing business from my garage. So, <laughs> it's ridiculous. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now, I did uh, end up picking up some ceramic coating in which we'll get into this later. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna wait till after we get the whole entire car all assembled. But anyhow, guys, this thing has definitely came out better than I even had hoped, man. And this has been quite a journey to get this car, the paint job on this car, to look as good as it does. To be honest with you, it kind of, it, it had me stepping out of my comfort zone to spray this car, to be straight up with you. Um, and it has really helped me with my confidence in, in my own ability. Um, and I think this this has really opened up some doors for me inside of my mind in in what it is that I'm capable of doing You know what I'm saying? I never thought I'd be able to spray anything metallic inside of that spray booth out there um, We do have some upgrades. We need to do to the booth, you know to help save my Save me some work in the long run as far as wet sanding and trying to get dust out of stuff but yeah man this thing came out really freaking nice i can't wait to see it all completely put together and on the wheels these these wheels kind of kill the look but <laughs> but dude i would i hope you guys can see the metallic in this it's hard for it to focus on the metallic because it just wants to focus on the reflection of the background you know what i mean dude the metallic in this is freaking insane man god damn <laughs> anyhow guys like i said i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please do smash the like button i got a lot of cleaning up to do um and then i'm gonna get started on tomorrow's video peace oh and don't forget this could be your car man all you gotta do is enter for a chance Grab yourself a sticker even. One sticker gets you two entries, bro. What do you have to lose? You're getting a dope ass sticker and possibility for that to be your car. Later.